Hi everyone, it's Obina again, and I just have a quick one to share with us today. I, I, I was talking with someone recently and I observed something, and that's what I want to share about today, talk about today. I don't know where you are, maybe you're in that place where you really, really desire to follow God, you really desire to follow God, but you find yourself struggling with your flesh, you 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 want, your heart is with God. Every time you hear the sermon, every time you hear a message, you really, really want to follow God, but you're struggling with these things. So, that's what I want to talk about today. I just want to, because I was in that place too, I remember in my past, I used to, I really wanted to follow God, but I struggled with, with sex, I struggled with so many things that my flesh wanted. It's like, I wanted to, I wanted to please my flesh, but at the same time, I really wanted to follow God. Sometimes I would hear a sermon, I would break down into tears, but still, two weeks later, I'm still going, I'll still go back. So that's what I just want to talk about today. And if you're in that place, this message is for you. This message is for those that really want to follow God, but you're struggling with your flesh. You're struggling with your body. You're struggling with one circumstance. You're, maybe you feel like you cannot just let go. You feel like this thing has taken over you, but you really, in your heart, you want to follow God. I have a word for you today. It is possible. The Bible says something. It says, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. If you hunger and thirst, if you truly have that heart, in you, that desire in your heart to follow God, the Bible says that those who hunger and thirst shall be filled. Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. So, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, do not beat yourself up. Do not allow guilt, the enemy, to use guilt to destroy you. Okay? I want you to have this thing in your mind. Let it be at. Let it be in your heart. This was a scripture that helped me so much. Let it be in your heart. Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Keep praying. Do not run away from the word of God. I listened to the word of God for so many years. I, I had so many altar calls. But eventually, one day, one day, one day, I had my encounter. And from then, since 2013 to 2018, it has been from glory to glory, from one level to another level. And it has just been awesome with God. So, I don't know where you are. Do not allow people to discourage you. You know, sometimes people can make you feel like you're the worst sinner in the world. And I know that, yes, sometimes I tend to forget. If I'm, if I'm going to be honest, I tend to forget. Sometimes I see people, when they, they come today, they pray, they cry, that they want to follow God. Immediately after the service, you see them, the way they talk, the way they act, is like as if they, they did not even attend that service. But I just saw them filming. Sometimes I'm, I find myself thinking like, what's wrong with these people? But then God reminds me that you were once in that place. You were once in that place. So this is also for believers too who are strong with God. Take it easy on these people, okay? Take it easy on them. They are struggling. They really want to follow God, but they are struggling with their flesh. They have not gotten the victory you have. I find myself too there. Sometimes I find myself almost about to judge them, even sometimes judging them. But the Holy Ghost in me then he reminds me that I should calm down. I should take it easy. I was once in their shoes. I was once like that. And I should understand them more. Because I was there once, I would struggle, I would cry, I would come and hear a good sermon, I would say today I will never sin again and blah, 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 blah. Two days later, three days later, one week later, I find myself going back again. But today I'm free. So just take it easy with them. Keep praying for them. Keep encouraging them. Maybe you have a brother, you have a sister like that, or a friend. Don't give up on them. Keep praying for them. Eventually God will do it for them. And if you are the one in that place also, you want to follow God. You really want to follow God, but you find yourself struggling. Don't give up. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep asking. God for strength. Keep acknowledging your weakness. The Bible says that in our weaknesses, in our weaknesses, made strong. Keep acknowledging your weakness. Just keep acknowledging that God, I am weak. I cannot do this without you. Only by you can I prevail. It's just going to be awesome. God is going to help you. God is going to lead you. If your heart is sincere, God said that those who seek after me with all their heart, they shall find him. If you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. It's a fact. The word of God is standard. The word of God is true. Whatever God says in his word is final. So the word of God is the final authority. So if he has said it, he will do it. Don't, don't, be, disad, don't be discouraged. Keep chasing after God. Keep pressing after God. Do not run away from fellowship. I have a video, I'm, I'm going to link it up. I have a video, probably it's coming up right now in the suggestion up. It's, it talks about how to grow spiritually. And I also have another video that talks about what are the hindrances to spiritual growth? What are the things that makes us to go back to seeing why we are not growing? I also have a video like that, so I'm also going to share it. You can hit it up there. So please do not be discouraged. Believe God. Hold on to God. Keep praying. You will eventually become a source of strength to someone else. Just the same way I'm sharing my story today, just the same way I'm talking to people today, you also be a source of strength to someone else. Others too that shall be struggling tomorrow with sin, who really want to follow God, but they're struggling. You also be a source of strength to them when God brings you out of it. So don't be discouraged. And that's just what I want to share with us today. 
have an awesome day and please if you have any comments on or suggestions or any tips that you can share with us on how God strengthens you. Maybe you are once in my in, in this situation I was in or you are, you are once in this kind of situation I'm talking about today. Please do not hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. Maybe how God was able to bring you out and strengthen you. Please leave it in this comment section below to help others too. Have an awesome day. If this is your first time here, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button. It's very important. Very, very important. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It's very important. Have an awesome day, beautiful people. God loves you. And remember, you are backed by God. You have the Almighty on your side. Take care of yourself. God loves you. Once again, it's Obina signing out.